Let's all stand up. I came hot today. Are you ready? Are you on the right frequency for transmission? <laughs> hey. The secret of receiving is being on the same what? Frequency. Have you ever had a communication with somebody and you wanted to give them something, but you and them were not on the same what? <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> they missed your cues. <sighs> they missed your cues because they are not paying what? Attention. <laughs> so today is a day to pay attention. I said to pay what? Attention. Because God sent me today to put on you an anointing to win. Right. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. And as I preach in this message, I'm prophesying this message, that anointing will begin to fall on people. And we are going to stop the losing streak. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, you will win. You will win. So just lift up your hands and start to pray. Somebody say, I can win from any setback. I can win from many setbacks. Well, let's turn our Bibles to the book of Revelations. Hallelujah. Let's turn there. Let's stay standing. Hallelujah. 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 Book of Revelations. Mm-mm-mm. Revelations. Hallelujah. You wonder why I asked you to pray. The reason why I asked you to pray is that when a man of God comes uh, under the anointing, he has a message to deliver. But messages uh, and the realm of the Spirit operates on frequencies. They are frequencies. Hallelujah. So there's a frequency. Sound operates on frequency. Light operates on frequency. So when I come, I'm at a particular frequency. And for you to receive, you need to rise to my frequency. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Otherwise, what I will deliver will go over your head. So you need to rise to my frequency. So sometimes when I'm waiting, I'm waiting so you can come up higher. So you can do what? Come up higher. So you can receive this deposit of the spirit that's going to come because somebody's losing streak is going to come to an end today. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, everything that the forces of darkness have been doing in your life shall be reversed today. Someone who has been weeping because weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. I said joy comes in the morning. I said joy is going to enter someone's life today. Oh yes. We're going to go into the mysteries of the scriptures. Hallelujah. We're going to go into the depths of the scriptures. We're going deep today. Turn to your neighbor and say we're going deep today. The Bible says deep calleth unto deep. That means deep problems don't require shallow anointing. Yeah. I said deep problems don't require what? Shallow anointing. So deep, the depth of the problem determines the depth of the anointing. Yeah. So deep calleth unto deep. I said deep calleth unto deep. Well, the depth of what has come against you, so the depth of the anointing shall be made manifest. So shall the depth of my message be. So shall the depth of the manifestation of the power of God be even today. Oh, hallelujah. Revelation chapter 22 verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Who is the bright and morning star? What is the bright and morning star? The bright and morning star is the S-U-N. 
That's the morning star. That's the star that comes out in the morning. It's the sun. It's the brightest star. So Jesus said, I am what? I am the bright and morning star. Because today, I'm going to preach to you about the law of the lesser light. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I said the law of the lesser light. Somebody said the law of the lesser light. Oh. Let's now turn to the next slide. Oh my God. Oh, a book of Genesis chapter 1. Reading from verse 14 to 18. Then God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heavens uh, to divide the day from the night uh, and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years uh, and let them be light for the, in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was that God made two great light, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. Hey, hey. The Lord God made the greater light to rule the day. But you've got to understand that when God does things, he does things and he calls them. So when Jesus came, Jesus reverted to the Genesis code. Jesus said, I am the bright and morning star, which means I am the greater light. Jesus. Who? I am the greater light. Mm -mm -mm. I am the greater light. Hallelujah. But then the Bible says that the Lord made two lights. Ha ha. Who is the lesser light? Because the lesser light is the church. The lesser light is supposed to be the church. Because the greater light gives light to the lesser light. And the lesser light doesn't produce any light. But the lesser light reflects the light. And the lesser light rules the night. And the Lord told me, you have a people who don't know how to rule their night. Jesus. Who? I said, he said, he said, the lesser light shall do what? Rule the night. Then it shall rule darkness. Jesus. Who? You see, to win, you got to rule your night. Ah, yeah, yeah. He said, the lesser light shall do what? Rule the night. Ah, yeah, yeah. I said, the lesser light shall do what? Rule the night. He didn't say, the greater light shall rule the night. He says, the, the darkness in your life shall be ruled by just reflecting the light from Jesus. Somebody say, I'm the lesser light. Jesus. He says, hallelujah. And it was so that God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light on the earth. Mm. And to rule over the day and over the night. And to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Oh, can somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's take our seats. Hallelujah. Let's now turn to the book of Daniel. Let's go to the first slide. Hallelujah. Turn to the book of Daniel. Let me decode this message for you. Let me preach on the laws of the anointing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. First slide. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Book of Daniel. Hallelujah. Now in the third year of the reign of Jehokanai, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehokanai, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the articles of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar, which is modern-day Iraq, into the house of his God, of the house of his demon. And he brought the articles into the treasure house of his God. Then the king instructed Ashna, the master of the eunuchs, to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles young men in whom there was no blemish but good looking gifted in all wisdom possessing knowledge and quick to understand who had the ability to serve in the king's palace I want you to understand this hallelujah 
that you serve a God who is not limited by your circumstances. What happened is this. When I was preparing for this message, an angel came to me and the angel gave me a scroll called You Will Win. And when the angel gave me the scroll, hallelujah, as it was manifest to me, the Lord showed me three people in the scriptures that he wanted me to study. And revelation will be given to me about the winning anointing. I heard things, I saw things I've never heard and seen before. So I'm going to preach to you some things on a frequency because the Holy Ghost showed me in that visitation to preach to you. He showed me, he said there was a man called Daniel. Daniel was a man in whom there's no blemish. I don't know about you, but I've got some blemishes on my skin. But Daniel was a good looking man. The Bible says choose from the children of Israel find the ones that are good looking and the ones that have no blemish the guy had no blemish on his skin he says not only must he not have any blemish on his skin he must be smart he must be what smart he must be what gifted in all wisdom that means he must have a wisdom gift that means he must have knowledge he must have he must be quick to understand and he must have the leadership ability to stand in my palace. That is, look for people who look like Joseph. Oh, look for people. But something happened. Something happened. He says, take them to the master of the eunuchs. So the day you're taken to the master of the eunuchs, it means you're going to become a eunuch. And this good looking man, was castrated Jesus. and this good looking man was castrated and his night began hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some of you you were born into something that caused some something in your life to be castrated Jesus you see Daniel hey, his manhood was what castrated Jesus he was, he was born into a situation that was the situation because of the sins of his fathers. Because of the sins of his fathers. Nebuchadnezzar had come and under the judgment of God had devoured the land. So he was captured not because of his mistake but because of the mistake of his fathers. So he was castrated not because of his sin but because of the nation he was born into jesus so there's some people areas of your life have been castrated jesus because of where you were born jesus ay, 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 ay. oh can i preach this message like i'll show he said so daniel he began with a setback jesus and the man was good looking without a blemish that's to tell you, ladies, no problem. <laughs> Are you hearing me? He's what? Good looking. In fact, his face is better than yours. You have a pimple. He doesn't have a pimple. You have a dimple. He doesn't have a dimple. You have a birthmark. He has no birthmark. When you look at him, he is a human specimen. Jesus. God gave him the gift of beauty. But it was what? Castrated. Jesus. Lakatobashaka. What is castrated? What has life castrated in your life? What has been castrated? What aspect of your life has been castrated? His manhood was castrated. What is castrated in you? And in that situation, the anointing came on him to rule his night. <laughs> hey, you see, for you to win, you have to rule your night. Your night is the darkness that comes. It's the darkness that comes to stop you from shining. But you have got to do what? Rule 
the night. Shaka <laughs> Mayaba. And today, you're going to learn how to do what? Rule your night. Turn to never say, I'm going to rule my night. You see, because until you rule your night, you don't become a winner. Jesus. I said, until you do what? You rule your night. You don't become a winner. So Daniel was a captive. Jesus. Now it's amazing that Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. And then Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Now, and we know that Jesus is what? He's the greater light. And we are what? The lesser light. But the lesser light, the moon and the stars, they reflect the light of the sun. They do not produce any light. They just reflect the light because of their positioning. Jesus. Who oh Lord. So, in order for you to win, you've got to be aligned properly with the sun. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you with me? Because you see, the moon, the moon emits light without stress because of his positioning with what? The sun. So your positioning with Jesus, your alignment with Jesus, oh hallelujah, your alignment with Jesus is what detects the level of your light. And so if you align properly, the light that will come from you will rule your light. Jesus. Ooh, it will do what? It will rule your night. Eh, told you never say the bishop go deep today. She, ha, look, ha, it's going to rule your night. See, because for you to operate on this frequency that I'm talking about, in order for you to win, you have to generate enough light to overcome anywhere you are castrated. Some of you, your romantic life is what? Castrated. Some of you, your money life is what? Castrated. Some of you, ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your relationship life is what? Castrated. Hey, so there are aspects of people's life that are what? Castrated. So you are functioning, but that one is what? Dead. Forever. Gone. Jesus. But I came to prophesy to somebody. I said I came to prophesy to somebody that the anointing to win is in this house. I said the anointing to turn someone's story around is in this house. I said the anointing to rule the night. Jesus. Oh Lord. I said the anointing to do what? Rule the night. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night. So the night is where people weep. The night is where darkness comes. But he said the lesser light shall do what? It shall rule the night. So you shall rule over what came over you. My God. Somebody say, I am a winner. Jesus. Because the angel showed me, he said Daniel was a winner. I never saw it. He said Daniel was castrated. And he was, he would have been a lady's, I mean, the manifestation of many women's desires. Kotamashi. Machine. Are you with me? Yeah, because he had the brains to match the looks. Are you with me? Rakataba. Somebody shout, I'm a, I'm a winner. Now the Bible says something. It says, and hallelujah. And it says, and the king appointed them for, for a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank and three years of training. So at the end of that time, they may serve before the king. Oh, hallelujah. Now, what did Daniel do? What were the things that Daniel did? You see, because Daniel had to be able to align himself. Daniel had to be able to do what? Align himself. You see, because there are two things that determine the light that the moon generates and the light that the stars generate. Hallelujah. Science tells us that the stars have nuclear reactions in them. And these nuclear reactions, they create an energy which creates a form of light mixed with the light that comes from the sun. 
And this is what makes them to shine and glow. Now, you see, because if you are going to, if you are going to rule the night, <laughs> you cannot become the night. So the Bible says, he says, then, now from among these of the sons of Judah, were Daniel, Hannah, Mishael, and Azra. To them the chief of the eunuch gave names. Now the names that he gave them were all names of demons. But change there was the name of a demon. All names of God. So they were called names of God because they had been conquered. They had been conquered and they had been castrated. Jesus. So this was a man who had been conquered and he had been castrated and he was renamed. God made you to be a businesswoman, but you've been renamed. You've been what? Renamed. Jesus. You're what? Renamed. The forces of darkness rename you. You're now renamed by an issue. You're now renamed by your trouble. You're now renamed by your condition. They were renamed. Oh, but something started to happen in Daniel. You see, because Daniel was who? Daniel was a winner. Somebody said, Daniel was a winner. Next, let's go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, Daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. So, the first thing that started to happen in Daniel is you see, the Bible, you see, the science tells us that the stars they generate a nuclear reaction in them, they get fired up. Daniel said, I know I'm a captive. That was not something I could control. But what I can control is that I am not going to eat the food that has been offered to this demon. There is Daniel purpose in himself that I am not going to defile myself with darkness. So that's called the force of sanctification. So Daniel, so in order for you to access the anointing to rule your night, you have to begin with what? Sanctification. You've got to purpose in my heart that this night, hi, yeah, 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 what I can control, believe you me, shall not enter my life. I purpose in my heart that I will not defile myself. Now, the Bible did not say that Hananiah, Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego made that decision. The Bible said Daniel made that decision. Hey, yeah, yeah. And they all three follow Daniel. So Daniel, in fact, the only one who throughout the Bible was called Daniel was Daniel. Because Daniel refused the name. But Shadrach, Bishop, and Abednego, their names are changed. Are you with me? But Daniel, he refused the name that the demon gave him. Jesus. Oh Lord. Is there somebody who's going to refuse the name that Satan gives you? Oh. Some of you have a name emotional. Some of you have a name angry. Some of you have the name broke. Some of you have a name frustrated. Jesus. Ra'atabasha. Some of you have a name lonely. Some of you have a name miserable. Sika katasa. Eya papa pataka. Some of you have a name bound. Some of you have a name regret. Some of you have a name sorrow. But I came to prophesy to somebody. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That like Daniel. You shall, oh my God, you shall not accept the name. Oh, the name. Yes. Yes. Now, who gave Daniel the name 
the head of the eunuchs. That he that means he is the head of castration. Jesus. He's the man that castrated him. Jesus. The head of the eunuchs. You see, Satan wants to make you a eunuch. That means you exist on earth, but you can't birth nothing. Oh, Lord. You can't produce nothing. You're cut. But I came with an anointing today. Jesus. Oh, I said I came with an anointing. That's going to reverse that. Wherever Satan is operating to castrate you, it is reversed by the anointing. Name of Jesus. It is reversed by the anointing. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, the first thing that they had, you see, now you can understand. In the anointing to win, there are things that come from man to God. Then there are things that come from God to man. <clears throat> what came from man to God was sanctification. You see, because the equation for every anointing requires God's part and man's part. So what Daniel gave God was sanctification. What God gave Daniel was favor. <laughs> oh Lord. You see, because right now, the man is in captivity. He's been castrated. But Daniel has to begin to change the story. And to change the story, the first thing he decides, he says, listen, I'm in a bad place, but let me tell you, I ain't going to defy myself. Yeah. Oh, right. Lord. I'm not going to defy myself with the food of the demon. With the delicacies of these demons. I'd rather eat and drink water and bread. I'd rather take less than be pampered with the demonic. Because it was the delicacies of the demonic. This was the high food, nice food, gourmet food. But they were all offered, before they were served to him, they were offered what? To the gods. Then they were offered to him. So they had demonic impartation. Jesus. But it was palace food. That is the kind of food you eat at Sandilane. He said, I don't want it. I want bread and water. I will not defy myself. So it's what he gave what? God. Then when God gave him, now God had brought Daniel into favor. Now the word favor there is the word shasid. Some say shasid. Shasid is a favor that breaks protocol. Jesus. It's a, it's a favor that breaks process and procedure. That is, by procedure and process, you're not supposed to have this influence. You're not supposed to have this job. You're supposed to be a prisoner and will tell you what to do. But because the man had favor, the man could change the rules. So, the man gave God sanctification and then the morning star released a light on him called favor. Oh, you hear what I said? Because what did I say? The moon is what? The lesser light. And the lesser light gets its light from what? The sun. So the first thing that God shined on Daniel was what? Favor. When God wants to make you win, the first thing is going to shine on you is favor to break process and protocol. Jesus. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. hey that's it. Because when Shasinsa, listen, if they put down that to be the boss, to be the director, you must have an MBA. You can have, 
You don't even have all levels. If you have chassis, you be director. They will have a board meeting and change the rules for you to be director. That is what's called chassis. That's favor that changes protocol. So God gave him chassis. Jesus. You see, let me tell you. If you understand that God can give chassis, as a lady, you won't wear a mini skirt to get ahead. Jesus. Because there are people who they don't they don't even wear mini skirts. They don't wear anything. They're called strippers. And they still have to work the pole to eat. But the women who have chassis. <laughs> they have what? Chassid. Jesus. There are men who have what? Chassid. Some say what? Some say chassid. It's part of the winning equation. Jesus. Now God had brought Daniel into favor. Who brought Daniel? That's what? That's the light. That's the morning star. Shining on the moon. Shining on the stars. <laughs> and the chief of the New York said to Daniel, I fear my lord the king who has appointed you food and drink. For why should your faces look worse than the young men who are your age? That you would endanger my head before the king. Then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azra. I mean, see that. He says, therefore test your servants for ten days, and let us have vegetables to eat and water to drink. And let our appearance be examined before you as the appearance of the young men who eat the portions of the king's delicacies and you see fit to deal with your servants. The other thing that Daniel gave God was faith. (laughs) So you need to give God what? Sanctification and what? Faith. So in order for you to access the winning anointing, you have to give God what? Sanctification and what? Faith. So he said, test me after 10 days. That was a declaration. Hey, cut up. Because, you see, you see, because here's the thing. By natural process, by natural law, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, cut up. the Bible says, he that is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The word world there is the word cosmos, which means the arrangement of things. Now, based on the normal arrangement of things, by the laws of nutrition, if you're eating premium beef and you're eating premium steak and you're eating premium chicken and eating premium food and I am just drinking water and vegetables without seasoning, grade B vegetables, by the law of nature, you should look better than me. That's right. I with me. Yep. But the Bible tells us that faith can overcome the cosmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means faith can overcome the laws of process. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, are you with me? You see, faith can overcome that. So he declared, test me after 10 days. Shaka papa man. Oh, hallelujah. And you'll find out I look better. I know I'm not eating the food that they're eating, but I'm eating a food that comes from heaven because the anointing is going to touch my body. I'm going to operate by a different law. They're operating by the laws of natural nutrition. I'm operating by the laws of heavenly nutrition. Hallelujah. Jesus. So his faith overcome natural laws. Jesus. You see, to rule your night, you need to overcome natural laws. (laughs) Oh, is someone getting me today? Hey, hey. Hallelujah. So he consented with them in this matter. 
and tested them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their features appeared better and fatter in the flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Then the steward took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. That's called faith. Some say faith. So to win, you have to give God sanctification and faith. And then God will give you what? Shasid. Next one. Hallelujah. Woo! As for these four young men, God gave them knowledge. Now here's the thing. It's interesting. The Bible says that the king told them he said, go choose men who have wisdom, men who have knowledge, men who have learning. So when they were chosen, they chose the brightest men and brought them together. But after they came with their natural wisdom and their natural understanding, the Bible says God gave them. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's it. God gave them. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they came with the natural wisdom, but God gave them something. Hey, yeah, yeah. Bible says, and God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now, at the end of days. When the king had said that she brought in, the chief of eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king interviewed them. And among them, none was found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azra. Therefore, they served before the king in all matters of wisdom and understanding about, understanding which the king examined them. And he found them to be ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers. So the morning star gave them favor. And he gave them anointing. Jesus. Jesus. You see, so, it's like they choose all the best engineers and put them in this class. But then God gives you an anointing for supernatural engineering that you cannot learn <laughs> in a class. It is supernatural understanding. Le graba sikatada. Hey, yeah, yeah. I remember meeting a lady in St. Lucia. She won Chef of the Year, Restaurant of the Year. She was a believer. And she is one lady who I saw she has the anointing to cook. The Lord gives her recipes in dreams. Hey! <laughs> he gives her what? Recipes in dreams. How to create and mix foods. So, she, so she doesn't cook by natural gift. She cooks by supernatural ability. So her restaurant became the top restaurant in St. Lucia. By supernatural cooking. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the lady that baked me a chocolate cake. That at 4 o'clock in the morning, I woke up to eat it. And for breakfast, I ate the cake. Because she had what? An anointing to do what? So the anointing made her extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, and the Lord blessed me when I was in St. Lucia. Because, hallelujah, her restaurant was under satanic attack. I went there and the Lord gave me a word and I had a vision and I saw a man and I described her brother-in-law who had gone to a witch and I, I didn't know the brother-in-law but I described him and, and, and I saw this man go to a witch to put a curse on the restaurant and to put a curse on her because she was under depression and she was going to a doctor and she had to take pills and when I saw that I broke the curse over her life and she got set free. Amen? And from that day, oh, bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. Glory be to God. Every week, my food lands. 
Bless the Lord. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. So what I'm telling you is this. Is that, so, what God did to Daniel, he gave Daniel extra anointing to make him shine above those who just had natural. And then God gave him favor and chassid, which is the chassid favor. And then he gave him anointing to make him shine. So the anointing made him 10 times better than the people who are not anointed, who just had a natural gift. And that's how Daniel was able to rule his night. Hallelujah. And what came upon Daniel made him stand out and there's a book in the Bible about him with his name. So, what is the equation? Sanctification plus faith equals chassis and anointing to make you ten times better. Hey! So, the anointing to win is an anointing that makes you Ten times better. Oh, is somebody getting this message? Now, here's the thing. As I get ready to close, what does the moon have to do? The moon, what happens when you have a full moon? You have a full moon when the moon is in what? Perfect alignment with the sun. So some of you, you are huh, no moon. <laughs> Some of you, you're what? Quarter moon. <laughs> you see, quarter moon cannot rule the night. Because there's something called moonlight. <laughs> oh, but can I preach this message? Like, like was given. So, there are some believers, they are partially aligned. So they get a little chassis and a little anointing. So they're what? Quarter moon. But quarter moon does not what? Rule the night. Ikata katata. Ra Amanda Shoko Esataya. So for you to get moonlight, you need to be perfectly what? Aligned. Jesus. It is the power of alignment. It is not the power of your energy. It is in the alignment. Because the moon doesn't generate the light. It just is what? Align. So to win, it's about alignment. Jesus. And enough light will generate and it would overpower your darkness. And you will rule in your night. Let's stand up. Who received something today? My God. Some say, I'm going to rule in my night. Jesus. I'm operating by the law of the... So when you need to pray, you need to say, instead of you now praying, Lord, give me a breakthrough. Say, Lord, show me how to align. Yeah. 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 Good Lord. Lord, bring me into better what? Alignment. So more of the light of Jesus. Hey, yeah, yeah. More of the light of Jesus will do what? Shine on me. Because you know when it's moonlight. Woo! I tell you, it is bright. Full moon. God told me, he said, he said, I want to raise a church in the city, in Barbados, that can rule the night. He said, I want to raise up a people that will know how to do what? Rule the night. Hey. 
Jesus. So, people who rule the night, they don't talk about the night. They rule it. They don't talk about the setback. They don't talk about the darkness that came. They rule it. Who Lord? Who? Hey, hey! Somebody said, "I'm gonna rule my night." You see, I feel a change happening. Somebody, because you have been telling God why your night. Lord, why did I get castrated? What happened that I can't go castrated? What happened that this thing happened to me? Were you not there? Why did this happen? Why, 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 why? Daniel did not pray why. He ruled it. Jesus. Told you they would say, I ain't praying why anymore. I'm going to rule my night. I'm going to rule my setback. I feel something happening in my spirit, man. I feel something happening in the spirit, man. Don't you never say, I'm not going to complain about my night. I'm not going to pray about my night. I'm not going to wonder about my night. I'm going to rule my night. By the power of alignment. Say, God, God, my Father, Father, I sanctify myself. So, so you see, what you've got to do now, now that you understand this, you see, because some people, they don't know the benefit of sanctification. So they say, listen, I mean, why should I live holy? Well, I'm not telling you why. You live holy so you can get shasid. Shasid would give you more than unholiness can give you. <laughs> shasid would give you a house you're supposed to get. A man you're supposed to get. A woman you're supposed to get. Relationships you're supposed to get. Places you're supposed to go. Life you're supposed to get. Opportunities you're supposed to get. Shasid will give you. My God. Because Shasid does the answer to protocol. It overcomes protocol. And then your faith, your faith in God, when you say, listen, I, I rely on God. That's right. I trust God. Yes. I believe God will come yes. through for me. Yes. And when you do that, God answers your prayer yes. with anointing. Yes. So the sanctification brings the chassis and the faith brings the anointing. Yeah. Amen. And when the anointing comes on you, it's called the ten times better anointing. Hey. Oh, ah, yes. Ten times better. I know we're all studying administration, but I administrate by the supernatural. Shh. Ooh, Lord. Ooh. Are you with me? All of a sudden, you who are in the back and now what? In the front. Amen. You who are defeated and now what? Winning. Yes. Somebody say I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Somebody say I'm a winner. I'm a winner. So what I have to release now, I have to release in you a grace. You see, because the first thing you have to get, you see, which one is more important? 
What God releases, let me see if you understood the message. What God releases to you, or what you release to God? Because it's what you release to God determines what God releases to you. You see, that's the thing. You see, you need to understand the law. Because if you release this, it will be released back. It's what the Bible says, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. So if you make the move, he will respond. So Daniel understood the laws of winning. Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. I sense there's a winner in this place. Some say, I'm going to rule my night. You see, night was made for stars. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, you hear me? I said, night was made for stars. Jesus. You see, stars come into their own when it is dark. It's what this proverb means when it says, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. What it means is that when it is hard, that's when tough people shine. When it is easy, you can't tell the difference. But winners emerge when it is dark. Jesus. And you have in you the seed of a winner. You are born of God. You are connected to the morning star. Lift your hands right now, Jesus. Jesus. My God. Anointing is going to begin to fall right now. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because right now, sanctification anointing. Right now, shikata. Faith anointing. Anointing for faith. The spirit of faith is coming to people. So today, there's going to be an impartation of the spirit of sanctification and the spirit of faith. The spirit of sanctification and the spirit of faith. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh! The Lord spoke to me, he says, I gave Daniel a grace. The grace to rise above his castration. He says, today, I want you to release upon the church the grace to rise above where you are castrated. Jesus. My God. Start to pray, start to pray, start to pray, start to pray. Start to pray, start to pray, start to pray. Start to pray, start to pray, start to pray. Start to pray, start to pray, start to pray. Start to pray, start to pray. La ba 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 shakai. La bra ba koto koto to. La bra ba 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 ba. For somebody's gonna leave this service with shasid. Somebody's going to leave this service with anointing. Ra ba ba she ba ba shakai. Ha la ba bo she vre be be be. Ra pa pa ba ba she. Lo mande sere. Lande, 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 anointing to rule the night, anointing to rule the night, anointing to rule the night. Hey, oh my God, Jesus, Jesus, that's it. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. The anointing to rule the night. 
Let the word work in you. Let the word work in you. Let the word work in you. The anointing to rule your night. Rule your night. Jesus. So tap tap aside. The Lord just told me. He said, Minister the wind of the Spirit. Jesus. La Baboshi. Now, I want you to turn every fan off. Lord said, Minister the wind of the Spirit. There's a new wind that's going to flow in this place. Lift your hands up. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy the wind of the Spirit. The people in this section, look at me. Lift your hands up, close your eyes. The wind of the Spirit comes to you now. In the name of Jesus. Wind of change comes to you now. Wind of change comes to you now. The anointing to rule your night comes on you now. The wind of the spirit it strengthens your spirit man. Comes like wind. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> this anointing is going to come like a burning in your spirit man. It's going to come like a strengthening in the spirit man. Because the spirit men of people are going to get might. Lakatakatai. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Right now. Jesus. That's it. That's it. Start to pray. Start to pray. Because your spirit man. Your spirit man, your spirit man, it's a different anointing, your spirit man, this is a spirit man, this is a might in your spirit man, a might in your spirit man. On this section, lift your hands up. In the name of Jesus, the wind of the spirit, in the name of Jesus, might in your spirit man, might in your spirit man, the anointing to rule the night. The anointing to rule the light. This section here. Jesus. Boy, the anointing is here. I've never administered this anointing before. In the name of Jesus. Hi, yeah, yeah. Tangible. In the name of Jesus. I release the anointing to rule the light. I release the anointing to rule the light. Jesus. The anointing to rule the night. The anointing to rule the night. Jesus. I release the anointing to rule the night. You shall rule your night. This section. The anointing. Lift your hands up. I release. The anointing to rule your light, to rule your light by the winds of the spirit, it blows into your life now. Now, Jesus' name, the anointing to rule your light, rule your light, rule in the midst of your enemies, rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night, church. Rule your night, church. Rule your night, church. Rule your night, Jesus. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. The anointing. Lava what I say. Lava Vasiyaba. Lava Vasiyaba. I see turn around anointing here. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. In the name of Jesus. Rule your night. 
Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. Rule your night. Oh, bye bye. You ready? Wind of the Spirit touch them. Wind of the Spirit touch them. Wind of the Spirit touch them. You shall rule your night, said the Spirit. For my anointing shall rise upon you. And my presence shall rise upon you. And you shall rule in the midst of your enemies. And right now, said the Spirit, I am imparting unto men and women the spirit of might, the ability to rise above your setback. You have been defeated by your darkness, but I am anointing you to operate like the lesser light. I'm operating in your life in a new way. Just like Joseph ruled his night. Just like David ruled his night. Just like Daniel ruled his night. So shall you rule your lion's den. So shall you rule your fiery furnace. Jesus. So shall you rule over your castration. For my spirit has ordained this. And my angels have been released. I shall come to many within the next seven days with startling dreams showing them how to win for I shall release a spirit of dreams into this assembly that I may speak to you in your own subconscious state and download to you my plan and for some, I will speak directly to your spirit. And thou shalt hear the word of the Lord. And thou shalt know definitively, this is how I rule over my nights. There are six demons that rule the culture of Barbados. But the spirit says, you shall rule over them. You shall rule over them by the chassis of God and by the anointing of God. Jesus, my God. There's a manifestation of the Spirit that's here. I just saw it in the Spirit. There's an angel that's here. In the name of Jesus, I establish this. So that your faith may understand what is happening. Take your seats and watch something. Jesus. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. My God. An angel came to me and gave me a scroll and said, You will win. And what I preached is the revelation that I got. The first set of revelation. Have you ever heard preaching like this before? Neither have I. But it was revealed to me. That angel is here. And I'm going to show you. The angel of the Lord is in this altar area. There is an anointing to win here. This altar is full of divine presence. As I release this, I tell you, anybody who comes to this altar, who comes is going to receive from God. This whole carpet area, I now consecrate and the anointing to win descends upon it. Now, Jesus! The 
Jesus. Now, Jesus. Anointing to it. Anointing. Encounter. The anointing to it. The anointing to it. Ushers, you can kneel down yourself. You want to receive from this. Hallelujah. Name of Jesus. The anointing is in this place. The anointing in this place. They start to cry out to God. God's going to touch people right now. Favor of us. The anointing to win. 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 Whatever is stopping you from winning in the name of Jesus is removed from your life today. Whatever is stopping you from winning is removed from your life today. Whatever you need to be sanctified from is removed from your life today. Whatever is stopping you is removed from your life today in the name of Jesus. Whatever is stopping you is removed from your life today. Whatever is stopping you is removed from your life today. It is removed from your life today. It is removed from your life today by the anointing. By the anointing. The anointing to win. 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 The anointing overrules your castration. Jesus. You don't become a victim, you become a boss. Jesus. Lakata kata. Rata babashika. Rata tadabashi. Rata dabasa. You shut your abasi. Shut your abasi. Oh. Hi. Rabashi. I send the angels of the Lord into your homes to rule. By God, the anointing is in this place. Jesus, I rule my night. 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 The next seven days shall be days of visitation. The Lord is telling me. Days of visitation. Make sure you spend at least one hour before the Lord in just praise and worship. Listen to the instruction. At least spend an hour before God in praise and worship. And then see what the Lord will do in your life. Praise and worship Him for the winning anointing. And as you do that, the anointing to rule your night. The anointing to do what? Rule your night. Make sure you find one hour every day. Apart from your normal Bible study and prayer, you spend an hour giving this God praise because it's our winning season. Everything attached to you must win. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I feel the anointing here. The Lord is telling me, he says, tell them that I shall visit them within the next seven days. Tell them I shall visit them. Tell them I have answered their prayers. Tell them I shall come to them. Tell them I shall visit them. Tell them I shall speak to them. Tell them I shall show them the way to go. Tell them that I shall manifest myself to them. So these are seven days of manifestation in this church. Of the winning anointing. Boy, that's it. Everybody is going home different. I feel it. Everybody is going home different. Everybody is going home with a, a, a with a new feeling, with a new with a new oomph, with a new might, with a new power, with a new perspective. Everybody is going home different because they have received the touch 
of the winning anointing. Say, I rule my night by the anointing. Father, I thank you for what you've done in this service today, Jesus. I thank you for the tangible, transmittable anointing that is here. Today, you don't want me to prophesy. Today, you just want to visit your people. Today, you just want to visit your people. And today, you just wanted me to prophesy and tell them, generally speaking, that there shall be seven days of visitation in this church. Beginning today, by Sunday, there shall be testimonies. Dreams shall come unusual. There are people who have never had visions have visions. Boy, you sense the anointing in this place? Tangible anointing. It's a different kind of anointing. It's an anointing. This is not a deliverance anointing. It's an anointing for you to win. It's a winning anointing. To show you how to win. To show you how to win. That's right. Father, I thank you. We give you glory for what you've done today. In the name of Jesus, amen.